Hello, everyone, and welcome to another installment of the Coin Dictionary. I'm Wuhu, and today I've got for you this 10 centesimi coin from 1867 from Italy to talk about. We'll go over the history, the value, the basics, and any other pertinent information about this coin. So let's get started. On the obverse, we see the portrait of King Victor Emmanuel II, or as it says around the outer edge here, Vittorio Emanuele II, Re, Re d'Italia. As you can imagine, Victor Emmanuel II, King of Italy, is what this says right here. This side was engraved by Giuseppe Ferraris, whose name uh, can be seen right down there. Turn this over to the other side. We see very simple design, ten centesimi, dieci centesimi in the middle there, 1867, surrounded by a wreath. There is a star, the star of Italy, as a matter of fact, above, and a mint mark down here. This one says N, uh, which means that this particular coin was minted in Naples in Italy. You could, for 1867 anyway, also have OM with dots on either side uh, to signify Brussels, Belgium, and H for the heat and mint in the United Kingdom, and like you see here for Naples, uh, OM without any dots on it for the Monet de Paris, or a T for Turin. So only a couple of mint marks uh, that uh, produce these coins in Italy proper. This happens to be one of them. This is a bronze coin that weighs 10 grams, 30 millimeters in diameter, 1.5 millimeters thick with a smooth edge. Not that you can really tell through the flip here. Uh, and obviously you can't spend these anymore because these were uh, the old lira currency, uh, which was replaced by the euro in 2002. Uh, 1867 N has a mintage of 31,360,000 for circulation. Other mints, uh, well, the Heaton Mint had a mintage of 50 million. The Turin Mint had 18.64 million. Uh, and the others were not entirely sure how many of those were made. Uh, so it doesn't really have a significant effect on the value as far as uh, the grand scheme of things is concerned. On eBay, no matter what mint mark you're looking at, an 1867 10 centesimi will go for anywhere between $1.50 to about uh, $4 or $5 on average. And that is, of course, before any shipping costs are taken into account. Anyway, I hope that cleared up some information about this coin. And I'll see you next time when I've got another coin to talk about. I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching the video. My name's Christian, and I own The Coin Dictionary, and I'd also encourage you to visit us at our website, thecoindictionary.com, and on Instagram, at thecoindictionary, and I'd also like to draw your attention to some other helpful coin resources, such as my other YouTube channel, Treasure Town, which does more in-depth videos about coins and collectibles, as well as some resources like coinmeltprice.com, which shows up-to-date Precious Metals Pricing, as well as the melt values of the coins that you own, CoinsMetalsCards.com, which will both be a marketplace and a new source for coins, metals, and cards, as the name suggests, as well as What'sTheGrade.com, which will develop into a stickering service for already graded collectibles. Have a great day, and I hope to see you on some of our other videos.